Welcome to Tech Insight, where we show you how to make your workspace work. In today's episode, we'll be talking about Microsoft Office 365 optimization for branch offices. We'll compare the office experience with the unoptimized session on the left and the optimized session on the right. Here we can see we've launched the Outlook app and we're searching for certain emails. We'll see in the optimized session the results come back faster by 5 seconds, resulting in a 75% performance improvement. Now we'll navigate to OneDrive. We'll select a large file for download. We'll let the large file begin to download and then we'll return to the portal and continue to use other Office 365 applications. Here we'll navigate to the portal and we'll select an Excel file. We'll see that the Excel app launches in a new tab. We'll see a fairly thick file load with a lot of letters and numbers. And then in the top left, we'll go ahead and start to scroll through the file. We'll notice in the optimized session on the right that the rows and columns continue to display smoothly, whereas in the unoptimized session on the left there are pauses in the playback. We'll continue to scroll down until we get to row 100, and we'll see that the overall experience with Excel takes us three seconds longer in the unoptimized session, resulting in a 25% performance improvement in the optimized session. Now we'll open a PowerPoint file. We'll see that PowerPoint loads in a new tab. And once the file loads, we'll go ahead and start the presentation. We'll see that here, after we start the presentation, the optimized session gets ahead. And then we'll notice here in the playback of this session that as we scroll through slides, that the visual quality is much better in the optimized session. There are no delays. Overall, we'll complete the presentation seven seconds faster, resulting in 33% performance improvement. And now we'll check in on the OneDrive download and we'll see that the optimized session is finished and ultimately it takes the unoptimized session 67 seconds longer to download resulting in a 275% performance improvement in the optimized session. Citrix SD-WAN origins are an optimizing enterprise traffic between branches and data center hosted systems and services by prioritizing flows across all available paths according to their delivery requirements. Yet in the cloud era, accessing services online via the data center may add latency and not provide the best user experience. For Microsoft Office 365 flows, Citrix SD-WAN implements the Office connectivity principles, allowing it to identify the nearest pop for the requested Office service and break it out directly to the internet at the branch. However, for enterprises that use PAC files, the Office 365 traffic may be directed to a central proxy server preventing direct internet breakout. With the Office 365 dynamic pack file feature, Citrix SD-WAN downloads a copy of the pack file and modifies it to eliminate the need for Office 365 traffic to navigate to the proxy server. Then when clients query for the proxy server and pack file, Citrix SD-WAN intercepts them and returns the modified file. Thereafter, Office 365 traffic may use the Citrix SD-WAN implementation of Office 365 connectivity principles to access the internet and the nearest front door directly. And by the nature of the functionality identifying the Office 365 traffic, it eliminates the need for URL filtering of it. Also, Microsoft includes a full security stack of services to inspect the session traffic en route to accessing customer data. We'll start on our MCN and the configuration editor. We'll see they have a primary data center configured and a branch site. We have the interfaces and WAN links configured. Now we'll navigate to the global tab application section. And in the drop down, we'll navigate to Office 365 policy. We'll see that we have three options for the optimize, allow, and default. We'll select optimize and allow, and we'll apply that. Once we apply that, we'll notice back in the drop down, Application objects, we have one created for each of those. Next, we'll navigate to Firewall Policy Template. We'll also see here that we have two new policies that were automatically created by enabling those. And then under DNS Services, we'll see that we have an entry for the Quad 9 DNS services on, on the internet. Now we'll go to Sites and we'll select our remote branch and we'll navigate to DNS. And from our drop down menu, we'll see that we have transparent forwarders for each of those entries for both the optimize and allow. Now we'll go ahead and navigate to the connections tab and for a remote branch, we'll go to internet service and we'll add a service. 
This will allow us to send the traffic out of the out to the internet from the branch. Once we apply that, we'll also go to Firewall and we'll verify that we have those policies created. And we can see under our local policy section that those are created ahead of the default policies, which end up with a default drop. Now we'll navigate to application routes. We'll see that those routes are automatically created as well. Finally, we'll go ahead and save off our configuration. We'll give it a unique name and we'll do save. And then we'll go ahead and export that to our change management inbox. And then we'll follow our uh, standard procedure to implement the configuration changes. We'll go ahead and stage the appliances by pushing down the configuration. Once that's done, we'll do the activation and then the changes will be live. Now we'll go ahead and navigate to our branch and under firewall, um, under monitoring firewall, we'll see that we have entries for the office traffic. Here we'll see that it's being sent directly to the internet as we'd expect. We'll also see the, the DNS query for the forwarder, transparent forwarder is also being sent straight to the internet. So you can see with Citrix SD-WAN, we can automatically optimize your Office 365 traffic, providing a great user experience.